Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Gerbil, and yes, the reports of my quitting Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes have been greatly exaggerated. No, actually, I've just been on vacation. I've gotten a whole bunch of messages from a bunch of folks asking if I was okay, where am I? Um, I've just been on vacation. As many of you know, I live in Shanghai, China, and that's a long way from where I grew up. I mean, because like, you know, um, I wasn't born here. So uh, because of, you know, political reasons, travel difficulties, pandemic, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, it's been really, really, really hard to get out of here to go visit family. And so I took an extended summer vacation and uh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I, I'll actually show you some photos if you stick around to the end of the video. I'll share some of those photos and a couple little short videos in the back of this. Just, uh, you know, because it's kind of neat to share, I guess. Otherwise, um, I'm going to start making videos again now that I'm home and um, I'm also going to be doing some collaborations. I'll talk about that in just a second. And I, the, I guess the maybe the, the thumbnail caption of this video will be um, my experience with Home One obliterating Leviathan. Now it's not a clean victory, but it does work uh, for now. So let's, let's jump to it. I guess it, I also should say having not posted in a while, I've got to acknowledge that a few things happened while I was gone. For example, Lephalathon, I mean, Leviathan, right? Um, I got mine at five stars, and fortunately, I stopped farming it. I had the crystals to go a little bit further. I was actually going to drop a little bit of money to go up to seven, six stars, maybe even seven. But as I started playing it, and I watched a couple other people online, thank you people like Arnold who, you know, just whale or fail out for everything. Um, it became apparent to me that the fleet is fundamentally flawed and I may do a video about that later. I don't know. I feel like it's been beat to death, so probably not. But um, yeah, I, I think it's a really flawed fleet, which is why I think CG hasn't further acknowledged any actions they're taking other than to say they are aware of some bugs. Um, hey, pro tip CG, when you know and you had to have known it was bugged when you release it, Maybe do a little PR announcement post in your forums. Say, hey, we know you all have been waiting for this for a very long time, so we're going to release it. FYI, we know it's bugged in advance. We're working on that. Um, you know, that way nobody feels burned when they drop a whole bunch of money on it at that very moment. At least less people will. It, I mean, that you could have, they could have saved so much like positive PR out of it, but it's been silent now since their initial, uh, yeah, it's bugged. But otherwise, we got Nisa, and not a lot of folks are talking about that, but I think Nisa is pretty awesome. Can't wait to get mine up to seven stars. And we got, of course, confirmation of GL Leia, which was interesting while I was on vacation to suddenly hear everybody start saying, we all knew it was coming, we all knew it was coming. And I'm like, bro, no, you didn't. I, I, I speculated Leia was going to be the next GL a year ago, a, over a year ago. And I remember when that did this, I got a lot of flack. People were like, no way, it's not possible, ain't going to happen. One of the top Swaga YouTubers, not going to name a name, said I was absolutely nuts. There's no way it's going to happen. And then they've recently been like, we all knew it was going to happen. I'm not bitter about it. I mean, maybe I am a little bit, but... Mm. Anyway, I'm going to make a, like a, a self-assessment on that later because I've got, I've got some fun thoughts about who's coming, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's get started. So collaborations. So recently I was on Yuke's channel. He started this really cool Swaga game show, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and I was on there competing against Bit Dynasty and Scribe. And it was a lot of fun. It's all SWGOH trivia. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm doing another episode. Um, we're hoping to record it next week. I think that will be episode five on his channel. Uh, and that one is going to be against Sonjeta and Calvin Awesome. So if you are a fan of either of those, hop on over, subscribe to Yuke's channel. That way you can like see the episode as soon as it comes out. But it's going to be a while because he puts a lot of editing into it to make the videos really good. So anyway, that's happening. Um, I've been on uh, Nooch Too Good, aka Star Wars Dad, a couple of times recently, and I've been in talks with him, crossing my fingers, hoping to get kind of a regular thing happening with him. Um, he is an amazing YouTuber, a lot of energy. He's a lot of fun. I really... Uh, like and drawn to his style of, of entertainment. So again, if you like me, maybe you'll like his channel and uh, hopefully we'll get something going. If you'd like to see that, shoot him a message and say, hey, get Gerbil on your show more often. But don't tell him I said that. 
He probably heard that. Anyway, also, um, I'm recording something with Scri- uh, Scribe this weekend. So hopefully that will be online next week. So check it out. He started a new podcast. Uh, and I'm I, trying to get onto the podcast as well. But definitely we'll be recording something with him very, very soon. So anyway, move on. Home One versus Leviathan for now. So I think there's only one Leviathan in my shard. And it is maxed out at seven stars, which of course means Relic 9 Darth Revan, Relic 9 Malgus, Relic 7, uh, Ta- who is it, Lobster, First Order, Sith Trooper. Um, and, and I'll show them the, the fleet here in a second, maybe, maybe I'll skip it. But I decided, let's see just how good or how bad Leviathan really is. And so I threw in Home 1 with Biston Biggs and Raven's Claw, not Hans Millennium Falcon. See, I've been advocating for a while, Raven's Claw is way better way better than people realize. It is 100% my starting lineup now with Falcon as a reinforcement, if at all. Um, So I go in here and this is my first and actually only experience against Leviathan because this person has since taken them out of the arena. It's just too easy to beat and it's boring to play. Uh, I, I tried it a few times on offense and it's just dull. So Leviathan, I mean, it's got a lot of problems besides the bugs. There's nobody on the fleet that really hits hard. The enemies are not durable. I mean, the the Sith ships are not very durable. Um, I mean, they have that savior mechanic, but they're pretty easy to kill overall. And there's just so many problems with it. And I think CG is probably rethinking it. I think we're going to get some kit reworks very soon. So anyway, um, if you try to recreate this, you need to take out the B1 bomber as soon as possible because the B1 puts the the you know the the thermal detonators, which then daze you on on all of your ships. Those dazes stop your assists, which is of course the key to success with Home One. See, every time you assist or attack on a turn with Home One, your ships gain 30% bonus protection or protection up, and that stacks. So the more you can attack out a turn, the more uh, survivability you have. So that that extinction bomber has to go, which is why I just kind of focused down on it. Watch how fast Scimitar dies here in just a second. Like if you're really curious about longevity, watch this. Here we go. Full health, full protection. And we're going to switch over to Scimitar any second. Um, actually, I guess I'm trying to take out the Dorito first. Yes, I know it's the tie dagger but the Dorito. Uh, So it took three attacks there, but we got it. All right, here we go. Um, We've slapped it with the AOE. Ah, Darn, lost Raven's Claw, but here we go. And two shots, dead. That's it. It's only one turn because that was the assist. And (laughs) there goes the the Interceptor, Mark VI Interceptor, which now leaves it 2v1 Falcon and Cassian, not Cassian, Biston. Now, Biston's an attacker who hits really, really hard. Um, And so, I mean, 31, that's not a lot, but he does hit really, really hard, especially when you get that offense up. Okay, so the AI did manage to take over my home one. You just saw the little animation there. It's going to sprinkle out some red pew pews, damage me, but not nearly enough because we still win. Yeah, you saw it there. Home one with Biston, Biggs, and Raven's Claw. Dropping the meta defining fleet. Here, here, let's go check a look at it, right? This is this is the fleet that CG said will be meta defining. More like defining the existing meta as what's going to continue going. So here we go. Uh, my friend Prophet. Alright. So let's click on that and let's sort this, shall we, by Sithy Withies. And there we are. And so there you go. Uh Relic 7 Dorito, Relic 7 Maul, um Relic. Five Malgus, I thought he. Oh no, no, he doesn't have to be relic nine. It's 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 uh, Malik, isn't it? Who's relic nine? No, anyway, relic five Fury. So he's got some room for improvement there. Prophet does, um, but at five seventy four thousand and being the meta fleet, you would not expect home one to devastate it or at least to beat it. I think I could probably repeat that with a little practice and not lose bigs. But anyway, shall we? Let's move on. So um, now the rest of this, you can jump out if you want. But the rest is just a little bit about my summer vacation, where I've been, why I've been gone for so long. So that's my little one, Leo and Mrs. Gerbil there. Um, And yeah, so my home is uh, Oklahoma, the very center of the United States. And um, we, we had a very rural, very relaxing uh, visit. So mostly to visit family. But here we are chilling out in the countryside. 
uh, we kind of went on a Oklahoma small town tour. So we went to a bunch of little places like Cleveland, which has the best Walmart I have ever been in. No joke. So I started collecting, I wish I hadn't, but I started collecting these black figure, uh, black series Hasbro toys behind me. And I went from zero to uh, way too many. I was only going to get the Inquisitors and then I ended up getting the Ewoks and then a couple more from there. Uh, that was just a bad idea. That was a bad idea. But yeah, so Cleveland Walmart, if you're there, has the best uh, Walmart. Lots of clearances, great deals, great deals. So uh, yeah, so we went over to like Pawnee, uh, Stroud, a bunch of smaller towns and just had a blast. Pawnee Bill, if you don't know him, was one of America's most famous like 1920s era, I guess, uh, like touring shows, did this amazing show called Pawnee Bill's Wild Wild West, eventually teamed up with Buffalo Bill and they toured everywhere from New York to California and in between. And um, up in, in Pawnee, Oklahoma, there's a beautiful ranch that's preserved uh, for Pawnee Bill. They got a little museum, they got some buffalo. It was absolutely beautiful and we had a great time. From there, we jumped over to Eureka Springs, Arkansas, where I was blown away to see C-3PO, R2-D2, and Darth Vader um, gracing a, a very, very small toy store window, but actually it was a beautiful store with lots of stuff in there. They had like some original 1970s, 80s uh, Kenner Star Wars toys for sale. No, I didn't buy them. They're just too expensive. But Eureka Springs is one of the most beautiful places in America. Very, 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 very LGBT friendly. So. If you're looking for a honeymoon or romantic getaway place, you've got to check it out. And I recommend staying at the Crescent Hotel. We stayed here for only one night because it's not cheap, but it's it's a lot of fun. It is a ghost hotel. They, they advertise as being America's most haunted hotel. And while we didn't see any ghosts, it is a fairly creepy place, as you can see from these pictures. Uh, you should check out the history of it, but basically a lot of people died in this hotel under some very unfortunate circumstances back in the 1930s. It is a creepy, creepy history. It is a hotel that actually has a morgue in it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, we did some caving. We went to Cosmic Caverns. We went to Marvel Caverns. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. Beautiful, always nice and cool underground in the summer. Great way to beat the heat. Then from there, we went up north to Branson, Missouri. If you've never been there, they have as many or more shows than Broadway uh, New York, of course, they're not showing like shows like uh, um, uh, what what is that um, uh, Hamilton and things like that, Phantom of the Opera. But they have amazing, amazing shows. They have like Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, America's Biggest Titanic Museum. There are countless ways to spend your entire life savings there. So do be careful. But it was a lot of fun. That's once again, that's Mrs. Gerbil and little Leo there zip lining across a river. Yep. And then we, of course, hit Silver Dollar City. Now, if you don't know Silver Dollar City, this is probably, I think, my favorite theme park in the world. Um, it has been voted in multiple surveys and polls as America's number one theme park. Everyone, of course, will think of Disney, Disney World, which is amazing because it has like four huge theme parks, plus the water parks, plus the golf courses. I mean, it's massive. But Silver Dollar City is like time stopped in 1880, except for the rides, of course. But they have live, real-time blacksmiths, uh, confectionery shops. There is just so much history and beauty built into this park. I absolutely love it and recommend you get you get over there if you're ever in the central states. And then of course we spent the bulk of our time though back home. That's me and my buddy Will Rogers, personal hero of mine. Went to the botanical gardens, the zoos, went back to see my old university. It was amazing. So folks, that's where I've been. That's what I've been up to. That's why I've been absent. And I am happy to be back home in Shanghai, but I do miss my home in Tulsa. Nonetheless, if you're still here, thanks for viewing. Shoot me a high hello. Ask away if you got questions. If you're in the US, you want to visit any of these places, let me know and I'll send you my thoughts and tips and recommendations. All right, take care and I will see you later on the Hollow Tables. Bye bye.